Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is Anthony from The Basement Reef. And you might notice we're not at the store today. That's because we're at the side of a tank that we maintain for a client in their private residence. This thing is 300 gallons and absolutely stunning. But let me tell you, it provides some maintenance challenges. Chief among them being this. There is no way to get into the front of this thing. We didn't install this tank, so it's not quite how we would have done it. But there's no doubt that the effect is stunning. On the other side, we have a stainless steel stand that really completes the modern look of the install. And for the sump, it's down the basement, and also about 20 feet up in the air. Once again, not how we would have done it, but we make do, and we take care of this tank really well. This here is all the space that there is to work on the tank. It's pretty cramped, but those are the sacrifices you make on a tank like this, where the final look is far more important than how easy it is to maintain. And lighting this 300 gallon tank, just two Kessels. The star of the show here is undoubtedly this large pair of Red Sea Spot Synctus Clownfish from ORA. You hardly ever see these guys. If you're looking for a nice, large clownfish that has a designer look, this is it. There's really no other fish that looks like them. A large pair like this is a sight to behold, and I find myself looking at them for quite some time every time that I come over to maintain this tank. By far my favorite invertebrate in this tank is this huge purple gorgonian. We added this thing just about a year ago, and we got it from my buddy Kyle at Tampico Coral Farms, and it's done nothing but grow ever since. It's legitimately over two feet tall, and is the one coral that really makes an impact in this 300 gallon tank. I hope to get some more corals in from Kyle next month, and if that's the case, we'll definitely do a video all about it here on the channel. With just two Kessels lighting the 300 gallon tank, we don't exactly have a lot of par to work with, but that doesn't mean we can't keep nice corals. Take this gold hammer for example. It's all the way at the bottom of the tank and receives only about 40 par, but it's grown several heads. We also keep several low light staples like these Duncan corals. This blue tipped green frog spawn coral is another one that's really grown out of control. Speaking of growing out of control, these pink star polyps were the bane of our existence when we first started taking care of this tank. They had grown over almost the entire rock work, and we had to pull the rocks out of the tank to scrape it off. We thought we got it all, but from just one little piece, it's clearly started to grow back. Other fish that were already in the tank when we started maintaining it include a yellow tank, a flame angel, and a trio of huge pajama cardinals that are about the size of my fist. We left it at just that for almost two years after taking care of this tank. We don't want to ruin a good thing. These fish all get along and there were no diseases, but about a week ago, we finally decided to add some fish of our own. Our addition of a powder brown tang, a starry blenny, and a tricolor fairy wrasse so far seem to be going great. They've been in the tank for about a week, so far have shown no signs of disease, and have not had any struggles with the existing tank baits. Hopefully this will continue to be the case, and these will be some great fish for this aquarium for years to come. That more or less concludes today's video. This tank is gorgeous and a lot of fun to care for. Hopefully this shows you that here at the Basement Reef, we don't just sell aquarium fish and corals, but we also install and maintain tanks. So if that's something that you need, keep us in mind. Thanks once again for tuning in. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Thank you so much.